Welcome to the Weekly Reminders. My name's Miranda. And I'm Lori. I want to start off this week's announcements by pointing out that in recent rankings compiled by School Digger, Her County High School is ranked as the ninth best school system in the entire state of Georgia. Congratulations to all our student and faculty on an awesome job. This week's club rotation, which is on Wednesday, is FCCLA, Character Ed, and National Honor Society. In sports news, next Friday on the 31st, we will be hosting a football game against Hapeville Charter, which is a rematch game. The student section theme is Let's Glow Brave, so bust out your best rave in neon attire. Our first reason softball game will be at Bremen at 5.30 on Tuesday, the 21st. On Wednesday, JV and Varsity will have a doubleheader versus Northgate at 4.30. Then on Thursday, JV and Varsity will have another doubleheader at Noonan at 4.30. This Tuesday, Hare County Middle School will be hosting a football game against Callaway at 5.30. Be sure to come out and support our Braves. This upcoming Saturday, our middle school Braves will also be having a jamboree at Staples Stadium. Be sure to show up and show out. My co-anchor Miranda had the chance to interview Coach Barron on our football season and to see how it's going to go. Let's see what he had to say. Hi, my name is Miranda Harbin. I'm here with one of our wonderful football coaches, Coach Barron. Our last scrimmage game, we played Alexander High School. What are your thoughts on our game? Yeah, probably about like everybody else in the community's thoughts. Uh, it was it was awful. It wasn't real good. Probably uh, one of the worst performances we've had offensively in a long, long time. Thought defensively we did some good things, but but overall offensively we struggled. Um, we, we got tired late. Um, just probably one of our worst performances we've had in a long time. Are there any surprises you've had this early season? You know, a big surprise was we had to make some moves uh, on Wednesday of last week. We had to move three kids around so there were new positions. Um, and with, with minimal time, I thought Quincy came out and played, uh, you know, played a really good game at corner with very minimal time practice. So that was, that was a surprise to see him play well, play that well that quick. What do you think our team needs to focus on more Together. You know, all together, it's just about coming together. I mean, there, there's talent on the football field, and that means potential. But potential means you're not really good right now. It means you have the potential to be good. And right now, we got to focus on being a team player. Team players, put the team above, you know, the individual stuff. You know, eliminate the egos. Let's come together as a family and get this thing right. Okay. What do you think is our um, biggest fault as a team right now? You know, right now, just offensively. Offensively, we're not clicking. Um, you know, like I said, it's probably one of the worst offensive games we've had in a long, long time. Um, but, you know, I think that's something we'll work on. The offensive line, they, they, they do work hard. And uh, they take a lot of pride in themselves. And they didn't play well the other night. And uh, I expect them to come out and play much better. And, and, and Huzzy didn't play a good game for himself the other day. And it's just, I've never seen Huzzy in, in that manner. And I don't expect to see it again. He's a winner and he'll bounce back. He'll play well this week. Sounds good. Um, how do you feel about our upcoming game against Hapeville Charter? You know, you know, a lot of people are talking about the Hapeville Charter game. But if we go back and we look at how we played against Alexander, all we have to do right now is focus on this. we got we got to play the Grange on Friday. Uh, they're very excited, new coach, new staff coming off a big win. And uh, right now it's about us getting ready for that game. But more, more, more than looking at the grains, it's about us looking at ourselves and cleaning up what we got to clean up. And like I said, I can't say enough about putting the team above the individual stuff. Are there any players you want to um, As far as the players go, um, it's just more about the team. <laughs> Uh, not really individual. Like, again, we're so focused on trying to put the team above our individual. So, you know, it's about all of us understanding our role. You know, not just the starters, not just the guys that get to play on Friday night, but every person within our program, whether you're a scout team player, whatever it may be, do your role and do it well. And let's make sure we put our team way before any individual starts. Sounds good. I've been Miranda Harvin. Thank you. Our reporter, Elena McQuain, caught up with Mr. Long to talk about Skills USA. Here's what he had to say. Hey guys, I'm Elena McQuain and I'm here with Mr. Long to do our club highlight on Skills USA. So, Mr. Long, what exactly is Skills USA? Well, Skills USA is an organization that uh, is created to allow students to get involved into something. We do competitions, we do community service, um, it just really just brings a lot of people out and provides for them a club where they can practice some skills that they could use later on in the workforce or later on in um, 
whatever school they decide to go into after high school. What competitions can you compete in in SkillsUSA and what are their fees, if any, to be a member? Okay, it's $25 to be a member and the competitions range anywhere from health, CPR, um, to journalism, to public speaking events, to construction, which is what I do, to automotive, to cooking, just everything. Everything that you could do uh, with your hands, with your brain, and compete against. There's like 160 schools, I believe, that are in these competitions in Georgia. And then it goes from a state level. If you actually start to a region, if you will, your region, you go to a state level, and you go all the way to uh, the national level, and then you can compete on the world scale against other countries, depending on how well you do. That's impressive. Um, now that there is a new assistant advisor for Skills USA, how do you think the year will go? Oh, Mr. Hill, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of help. Um, he seems to he seems to have picked up things really well, so he's going to do great, Mr. Hill. I know you're going to do great. Um, so I'm excited to see what he's going to bring to the table and how he's going to influence the kids. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mr. Wall. Thank you. You're welcome. Now over to our weekly weather with Ollie. It's going to rain. Thanks, Ollie. Um, thanks, guys. That's all for our weekly reminders with Miranda and Lori. Be sure to check back next week. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to make, make a play. play.